Get it up on the camera. Yeah, so we'll go from uh, 24 mil up to, uh, from 20 up to 24. Run through that. The gear head, you can't beat a gear head drill. Screw this belt shit. Worth it all day long. It's over, then we'll go up to 25 millimeters. Five millimeter drill. Bongo bongo. Now this time we'll use a bit of CRC 5.56. It's like multi-purpose uh, penetrant, lubricant, water dispersant, rust preventative, uh, etc. Kind of like uh, WD-40, but WD-40 uh, smells like old we, uh, and this doesn't. So we use this. Let me turn that through. Drill holes in there, we've got to put clearance holes in there, clearance holes in there, we've got to put counter bores for the heads, uh, threads through the back. So uh, we're going to run fives through there, we're going to run 6.5s as clearances, and then uh, about 11, uh, about 12 mil uh, uh, counter bore for the heads of the socket screws that are going to go on the top. And then we turn it around and we machine some off each side of this face a little so that that brings it down to a clamping size of uh, 25 mil tube and um, there's a little bit of a gap so that we can pinch it down a little tighter. Yeah. Okay, so three, six, from 100, seven, Right. 7.5. So we're in 7.5 again. Give that a whack in the hole. Is the um, holes for the uh, thread sizes. So now we're going to take it out so we don't drill them and then we're going to put it back in here and then we're going to do the 6.5s for clearance holes and then do the counter bores in there for the socket head socket head screws. Right. So we have to do a counter bore down in there so they sink down in there and look, uh, you know, flush, neat, whatever and um, the thread down the bottom. So that bolts together. And you see here is where we put our pattern for the hook, the steel, stainless steel hook that goes on the, on the, on the latch. And then um, that bit goes on the, that tube that I put in there is the same size tube as what's on the mask, so. for the fucking top. Same size as the head. Okay, <coughs> for that long. Pop that there. And down. Zero. Zero. Uh, and down. Three.
down to there. Good. Pull it together. Tube in. Cut. Tube loose. So we're going to machine across underside, top side, so we get some pinch space. Here we go. <sighs> Next. That ways and that ways, face off. Okay. Face. Pinned another five mil off.
that's another. Right, now we're up to this stage. Take a bit off the top, clean a bit up off the back. Uh, it's uh, almost ready to bolt up. I was going to put a few uh, little angles on there so it's uh, not quite so sharp. So we just get a bit of, uh, yeah, about 45, a bit of angle. We shove it in there. And then we just go, how are you going? Boom shaker. Yeah, we'll knock off the top. Oh yeah, come out there. Oh, we're gonna go high enough. Hmm, that'll do for a start. And we'll just take it down in that thread hole, make it sort of look a little prettier. Well, not pretty, but you know. Chamfer. <coughs> okay, big chamfer on that edge, then the chamfer on that edge, that edge, and then we'll do a couple on the top. Right. Okay, another one on the other edge. Now I know that's not all specky and exactly 45 degrees and whatnot, but uh, just for a little cosmetic, so you know. We gotta get this shit done. Not so much of it done last night, or yesterday, and then uh, we come back and finish it. And um, well, I'd like to turn up in the next half an hour. The customer, I'm talking about. Which is not actually the customer, but one of the guys that runs the youth. Um, and, uh, be picking it up to uh, go and work with it. So, yeah, we're pretty close there, but, you know, I can't piss around all day doing little things like that, you know, if it was like a, a new item. Um, this is just a quick mod for them because they, they didn't want any more rubber hooks on it. The oh and s guys said, blah, blah, blah. We want latches on it instead. Okay, fine, we'll do that for you. Um, and um, so if it was a new part, you know, we got a little bit more trouble, but uh, at the moment, yeah, we just want to, Make it look a little uh, respectable. We'll give a little finish up with the uh, paper and block. But uh, a couple of chamfers there. Uh, we've gone down on the edge, so that's all nice and clean and square. So I'll just do the same for the top side. Okay, a couple of chamfers on the top side. There, the quickies. And it just looks a little bit more, yeah, specky. Okay, we'll get the dags off that. Give it a rub with uh, some wet and dry on a flat block. Just clean up. Um, and round those off. Yeah, I think I might uh, knock a couple off the corners there, just for good luck. And um, then we'll bolt her up. Surface there. Bar. Right on. Okay. Give it a clean up and a bum in here. We'll just uh, give them a buff on the back. So I'm going to have to do this with two hands, otherwise, I'll uh, end up with a piece of metal in the face. Okay, we just uh, buffed up with a little uh, eau rouge. Just put uh, a little bit of a polish on the stuff there. And now what we'll do is we'll use the old spray and wipe on there. And we'll give them a wash in water. The spray and wipe will take all the, uh, all the rouge out of the buff uh, off the aluminium. And uh, then it'll grow an oxide layer on a nice shiny surface. And um, it won't go quite as dull as aluminium generally does uh, with a natural finish. 
Anyway, I'll uh, just... Okay, we use this uh, Ajax spray and wipe. So we just spray a bit of that on the... on the alley parts. And then uh, just wipe it in there and all the rouge from the buff all comes out. Nice and easy. Just some general purpose, you know, kitchen cleaner. Don't have to get too uh, tricky diggy. Give that a bit of a rinse in the water. As you can see, just a little shine. As I said, the oxide layer grows back, it doesn't go quite so dull. I don't know if you can see that. But yeah. Just uh, a very slightness of blingness on there. Not too much, but just enough to make it look uh, respect the barley. And um, yeah, and they're happy. All right, let's bolt her on. Okay, that's what it is. Clip to hold the mast down in there instead of uh, see telescopic mast goes up, telescopic mast goes down, and that's the hook for the uh, camera mount safety lanyard, and we put that in there, lock that down. And we don't have any rubber hooks with the hook straps, um, which are uh, now against OHNS policy of the company that owns the vehicle. So. Uh, yeah, that does that. Our little bracket we put on there. Looks respectable enough. It's a very old unit and it's gonna be replaced soon and uh, for a newer style unit. So uh, they just want us to do this in the meantime. So uh, didn't want to spend too much time and uh, time, and money and effort. Um, this is uh, just about met its life, this roof trolley unit. Pole's gonna go on the next unit, but uh, that's what it is. That's what I make, by the way. These poles, roof trolley units, yeah, all that, and then it slides back up in there and locks in. Fixed up the compressor. I was coming down, and now it's time to pick him up. Make a step for the inside of there. Safety step, handles, the whole deal. Made all that. So that's just a little addition for now, and then we'll get them a new roof trolley new unit built, whole new one, and um, it'll be going in the bin. So yeah, uh, that will do the job for now.